Breaking tonight, a scandal over what looks like an intentional effort to mislead voters explodes with new video of a key White House advisor underscoring just how stupid he thinks Americans are. Welcome to The Kelly File, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. In the last 24 hours, a scandal involving a key White House advisor has blown up. And now we are waiting for some sort of on-the-record explanation from the administration. It started when video surfaced yesterday of MIT economist Jonathan Gruber, one of the key architects of Obamacare, speaking at a health care forum last year, describing on camera the effort to hoodwink what he called stupid American voters. This bill was written in a tortured way to make sure CBO did not score the mandate as taxes. If CBO scored the mandate as taxes, the bill dies. Okay, so it's written to do that. In terms of in terms of risk-rated subsidies, if you had a law which said healthy people are going to pay in, it made explicit the healthy people pay in and sick people get money, it would not have passed. Okay, just like the people, transparent lack of transparency is a huge political advantage, and basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really, really critical to getting the thing to pass. And, you know, it's the second best argument. Look, I wish Mark was right. We can make it all transparent. But I'd rather have this law than not. So it's kind of like his reporter story. You know, yeah, there's things I wish it could change, but I'd rather have this law than not. That caught fire. And today, Mr. Gruber, who declined our invitation to explain his remarks here on The Kelly File, went on a little watch daytime broadcast on MSNBC to say his remarks were spontaneous and careless the comment in the video were made at an academic conference I was speeding off speaking off the cuff and I basically spoke inappropriately and uh, I regret having made those comments it was off the cuff he didn't mean it but now tonight more video has surfaced showing that this was not the first time mr. Gruber called the American people stupid in an off-the-cuff remark in this next clip from also last year Mr. Gruber explains how Democrats played with the language of the Obamacare law so that it achieved their goals by, again, fooling the stupid public. We said, well, that's pretty much the same thing. So why does it matter? Because you'll see. And they were both in that pass. Because America was too stupid to understand the difference. Too stupid to understand. Hours ago, the White House distancing itself from Mr. Gruber by refusing to give any on-the-record response to his comments. But that wasn't the White House attitude when it was selling the health care law. In fact, the White House could not get enough of Jonathan Gruber. By 2010, the administration had paid Mr. Gruber nearly $400,000 for his expertise. The White House dedicated a web page to his health care analysis. White House visitor logs reportedly show senior officials there at the White House had a dozen meetings with health care advisors, including Gruber. And one of those meetings with Mr. Gruber was personally chaired by the president in the Oval Office. And here's how one top Democrat described Gruber at the time. The Congressional Budget Office and Professor Gruber are both credible and unbiased sources who are not bought and sold by the insurance industry. Uh well, they loved him. They loved him back then.